everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. That didn't come out right. Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back. I said it again. Hey everybody, welcome to <laughs> doing. Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and if you're new here, I talk about all things food, fashion, exercise, home decor, DIY, you name it, I've probably talked about it. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a little home DIY situation, painting thing. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, I swear I have hair. Can you guys see my bun? It's been a bit of a day, but that's okay because today we're talking about a DIY home decor situation. I wanted to, I got this idea, I was scrolling on TikTok and I got this idea from somebody, I can't remember who it was, but I'm sure you've seen videos just like it where you take a glass frame, you take it apart and then you stick an image there so that you can trace over it and paint it and voila, it's like you're an artist or something. Now me specifically, I am not very artsy at all. But I am pretty creative. I just wanted to share what I did with you guys to show you how easy it is if you've been dreaming of this picture and you really want it to look a certain way but you don't want to go out and spend all this money printing it or you just have like a specific idea in mind, you can really do modifications on things very easily. So. For me, like I said, not too artsy. I go ahead and I show you exactly how I did it and how you guys can do it too. And for me, I wanted to make a picture to put out in my dad's new shed. He's very outdoorsy. He likes to have all sorts of different outdoorsy stuff inside. Does that make sense? I thought it would be really fun to make him a cute little picture of Bambi, Thumper, and Flower. Um, kind of like inspired, not exactly like that, but you guys will see it in the, in the video. You guys will see it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that so that you guys know how you can do it. So enough of me rambling. Let's just go on and get into the video. So the first step would be to take apart your frame. And with my frame, I had these black placeholders. I went ahead and used I think this is a paint can opener, I'm not really sure. And I just used that to kind of help pick them up so that I could push them back to help get that back part of the frame out. And this part is really going to depend on what type of frame you get. Everybody's frame is probably going to be a little bit different. That part's really just going to kind of depend on what frame you get. I'm taking all of these up so that I can get this back part of the frame out. And the cool part about this frame is that it came with this really nice picture that had a white background. And for the picture that I was trying to paint, I wanted to save that white background so I wouldn't have to paint the whole thing white, which worked out really well. So the next part was to go ahead and print out the inspiration pictures that I wanted to paint over. So I went ahead and used Canva. I'm sure you've heard of it by now, and if you haven't, it's a really cool website. This is not sponsored at all by them. And anyways, they've got loads of different things that you can do on here. It's just kind of like a little bit of a scrapbook, graphic design type website. And for my pictures, they all had backgrounds. And I used this tool called Remove Background, or it's remove.bg. And if you just Google it, it'll pop up. I've, I've only used this for this, so I'm not really sure how great this is, but I don't know. I, I liked it. It did a good job for what I wanted. So I just went ahead and I uploaded my pictures and it got rid of the background so that I could download them and then re-upload them to Canva and then from Canva I was able to place them on the page and I just kind of sized it the way it would look on the frame and after that I was able to print it off and I'm not really great with thinking things through. So this definitely took me a minute to figure out, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you think everything through because it could be definitely a challenge to go ahead and trace things over. So the part I was having issues with was flipping it over and imagining how that was gonna look. So once I flipped it all over to the way I would need it so that I could paint on the back side of it. I went ahead and I placed everything where I thought it should go and then I taped it all down. You're going to want to make sure it's nice and secure because when you go to flip it back over you don't want any of those pictures moving because the part that you traced is all going to be messed up. So make sure that you tape it down really well 
and so then when you flip it back over to the part that you're going to paint nothing falls over so once you've flipped it all back over you're going to want to wipe it all down especially if it's glass you don't want any fingerprints and from there i went ahead and i started to paint i'm not really artistic but i am pretty creative and i had a bit of a challenge when i first started painting this as you can see the deer is terrifying I thought it looked great until I looked over at it and so I decided to start from scratch and I completely scraped all the paint off. I used acrylic paint which worked quite well on glass and from there I ended up getting my mom's help. She's definitely more artistic than me and she helped me repaint and retrace everything and what you need to do first you have to think about what the bottom part is going to look like the the first layer so you'll want to keep your lighter colors on the first layer and then cover it all up with your darker colors so it's definitely going to take some thinking through to figure it all out depending on what type of picture or uh, idea you have in your head about what you want the painting to look like as you can see I went ahead and just did some finishing touches and everything looked really scary from this way but once you flip it all over it looked great and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some pictures right here and I hope you guys liked that tutorial of how to do a DIY home decor kind of spiely thing um, I don't know what else you'd call it I had a lot of fun making it and I it turned out super nice in the shed so I hope you guys learned something hopefully you feel confident enough to do it too and like I said if you guys like these types of videos or if you're looking for more DIY videos those are coming so don't you even worry about it I'm gonna be doing some thrift flips and this summer we have loads of projects going on um, home renovation stuff so I'll share all of that with you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button to let me know that you like this type of video and if you want to see other DIY things let me know in the comments below I will talk to you guys in another video okay bye